Steam is perfectly designed for pre-K. The pre-K is the best environment because the kids at that age, it's their first opportunity to be at school most of the time. And so if we can create an environment for them where they feel safe to make mistakes, where they have hands-on materials to explore, it can really help them develop those creative and critical thinking skills. Oh, it went all the way to, what are those numbers, Amina? Teaching A three and a four. STEAM is just the acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. It's just a fancy way to say hands-on learning with open-ended materials. So STEAM materials can literally be anything that the kids are able to explore, experiment with, problem solve with. What? So maybe we can use this with the Legos. So today we brought out the crane pieces, and at first they weren't really sure what to do with them. They are like, there's a string, there's a hook, it has this wheel. I'm not really sure. Once they figured out the mechanics of it, um, through their natural exploration, I was able to bring up examples from real life or from our curriculum. Uh, Have you can... ever seen something like this in real life before? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's Where? Like... He made an immediate connection to a tow truck. And then it empowers them that they're coming up with the answer. It's great for their social emotional skills as well because they're going to have that confidence so when they're going on into school, they know I can solve a problem. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. So what did you have to do to make it work? You have to put a house right there uh -huh. and locks right here. Yeah. Growing up in school, it was the teacher tells you the problem and then the teacher tells you the answer and you just have to remember it. And you, I never cared. I didn't like school. So naturally I became a teacher. But when you're introducing these STEAM materials and they're having hands-on learning experiences, they create their own problems. So they have an intrinsic need to find the answer for that. They want to learn, they want to know the answer. They're looking to you to help guide them. So this one spins these, this one spins these. How can you add these in so that they can spin? And just seeing that growth and watching their minds work. How can I figure out this problem? And you can see them across their room and you're like, oh, she's going to figure it out. And you have to, you, it's so hard because you love them so much. You want to just solve the problem for them. And I think that's all of our natural instincts. Like I have to just like step back and put my hands behind my back and say, okay, I'm just going to do it. I can see it. Just be patient. Don't bother her. You can do it. Given that space and giving them that time and the tools, they are capable of amazing things.